if there was something they could do that might open up a door to a parallel universe, you don't think they would do it? A portal to another dimension has been opened. That's the bombshell claim from a 13-year-old boy genius that made Joe Rogan stop in his tracks. This isn't science fiction. It's a headline that has the world buzzing. The kid, Max Locken, who has been called the next Nikola Tesla, stated with confidence that the Large Hadron Collider at CERN did more than its creators admit. He insists they've made contact with something from the other side. Read this that kid. Look at what it says there. He claims it's CERN destroyed the universe during recent experiments which has resulted in us living in a nearby parallel universe instead. We're going to break down the science, the conspiracy, and Joe Rogan's stunned reaction to a revelation that could change humanity forever. The boy who silenced Rogan. The Joe Rogan experience is a place where ideas, no matter how wild, are put on the table. Rogan, a man who has sat across from countless scientists, thinkers, and whistleblowers, has cultivated an image as an open-minded skeptic. But it's not every day that a claim so audacious, coming from such an unbelievable source, gives him a true moment of pause. The source wasn't a seasoned conspiracy theorist or a disgruntled physicist. It was Max Lowen, a teenager from Nevada, who, by the age of 13, had an IQ estimated to be in the 190s and had already built a working nuclear fusion reactor in his family's home. The things nobody tells you is that geniuses like this don't just appear, they see the world differently. Max wasn't just building gadgets. He was developing a radical new theory of the universe, one that combined physics with spirituality. And at the heart of his theory was a terrifying assertion about CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Live on a talk show, the boy genius looked directly into the camera and stated that CERN's Large Hadron Collider the 17-mile-long, $10 billion machine buried 300 feet beneath the Franco-Swiss border had successfully opened a portal to another dimension. He spoke with a chilling certainty that commanded attention. He claimed that the scientists were playing with forces they did not understand, forces that could unravel the very fabric of our existence. This clip inevitably found its way to Joe Rogan. On his podcast, Rogan and his guests often venture into the strange and unexplained, but this was different. You could see it on his face. The host, known for his probing questions and loud, incredulous laughter, was uncharacteristically quiet, captivated. He wasn't just listening. He was processing the sheer weight of the statement. Here was a kid, a literal boy wonder, articulating a fear that has been simmering in the darkest corners of the internet for years. But he wasn't just repeating a conspiracy. He was claiming it as a scientific fact based on his own unique understanding of the universe. He was, in effect, the world's most unlikely and most compelling whistleblower. Many people are crazy about these theories, but to hear it from a kid who understands the math, that hits different. Rogan's reaction validated the shockwaves the clip was sending across the globe. It was the ultimate what-if scenario, presented as a done deal by a mind arguably greater than any of ours but the kid's claim was just the beginning of the rabbit hole. What is CERN really doing down there? Smashing atoms? Opening worlds? To understand the weight of Max Locken's claim, you have to understand the sheer, mind-boggling scale of what CERN does. Buried deep underground, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is the single largest and most complex machine ever constructed by humanity. It's a circular tunnel 17 miles in circumference, lined with over 9,000 superconducting magnets, some weighing more than a passenger jet. These magnets are cooled to negative 456 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than outer space, to do one thing, accelerate tiny particles, protons, to 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. They then smash these particles into each other over 600 million times per second. You see, the goal is to recreate the conditions just a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Officially, the purpose is to discover the fundamental building blocks of the universe. They've already succeeded, famously discovering the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, which helps explain why matter has mass. But it's what they're looking for next that has people worried. Scientists at CERN are actively hunting for evidence of other dimensions. 
They're searching for particles that might be leaking into our universe from a parallel one. They openly admit this. What they don't admit, according to critics, is that this process isn't just about observing, it's about opening a door. This is where the line between science and conspiracy begins to blur into a terrifying shade of gray. The theories that Joe Rogan and others have explored are unsettling. What if the immense energy created by these particle collisions, the most concentrated energy density in the known universe since its creation, could literally puncture a hole in our reality? Observers have pointed to strange phenomena surrounding the facility. Unexplained weather patterns, bizarre cloud formations, and even seismic activity have all been reported, fueling speculation that something is going wrong. But the most damning piece of evidence for many is located right on the CERN campus, a massive 10-foot-tall statue of the Hindu god Shiva, the cosmic dancer who is also known as the Destroyer. This gift from the Indian government is seen by many as a chillingly open admission of their true purpose, to destroy this universe to create a new one. It's an image that has become a symbol for those who fear that CERN's quest for knowledge has become a reckless gamble with our very existence. The symbolism is creepy, but it gets even stranger when you look at who else is asking these questions. Connecting the dots of the fringe. Joe Rogan's fascination with the CERN portal theory isn't an isolated incident, but not all things are what they seem. His entire career has been built on providing a massive platform for ideas that exist on the fringes of mainstream acceptance. For every astrophysicist like Neil deGrasse Tyson he has on, he'll have a Graham Hancock, who argues for the existence of a lost, advanced civilization from the Ice Age. For every sober-minded expert, there's a Bob Lazar, the infamous Area 51 whistleblower who claims to have worked on reverse engineering alien spacecraft. Rogan's podcast is the modern day campfire, where the most tantalizing and terrifying stories are told, and he serves as the tribe's inquisitive elder, prodding and questioning in equal measure. His interest in CERN is a natural extension of his deep-seated curiosity about the nature of reality itself. He's had countless conversations about simulation theory, the idea that our universe is a sophisticated computer program. He's famously talked at length about his experiences with consciousness-altering substances and the interdimensional beings he believes he encountered. So, when a boy genius comes along and says that a $10 billion science experiment is a gateway to another dimension, it slots perfectly into the puzzle Rogan has been building for years. It connects his interest in advanced physics, hidden knowledge, and the possibility that there is a reality beyond the one we can perceive. The things nobody tells you is that this makes Rogan the perfect amplifier for a story like this. His audience of millions is predisposed to question the official narrative. They are the people who suspect that the government, the media, and the scientific establishment are not telling them the whole truth. When Rogan shows that stunned expression while watching the Max Locken clip, it's not just one man reacting. It's a reflection of a massive subculture that has grown to believe that the truth is out there, but you have to dig for it. The CERN portal theory, for this audience, isn't just a fun what if. It's another potential piece of evidence in a grand overarching conspiracy of hidden knowledge. But are these just fascinating stories, or is there a key detail that everyone is missing? Genius, madness, or a warning? So what does this all mean? We have a boy genius making an incredible claim, a scientific facility pushing the known limits of physics, and the world's biggest podcaster looking on with a mixture of awe and terror. The easy thing to do is to dismiss the kid as a brilliant but misguided teenager and to label the theories about CERN as nothing more than paranoid fantasies. Scientists would tell you that the energy levels at the LHC, while immense, are nowhere near what would be required to create a stable wormhole or a black hole that could threaten the planet. They would explain the Shiva statue as a simple celebration of international scientific collaboration. They have an answer for everything, a neat box for every anomaly. But let's talk directly here, as if we're sitting around a table wondering if this all happened overnight. The thing is, are we missing a key detail? Is it possible that our understanding of physics is simply incomplete? History is filled with geniuses who were dismissed as crazy before their ideas changed the world. Galileo, Tesla, Einstein, they all challenged the scientific orthodoxy of their day. 
Could Max Loken be the next name on that list? Maybe the portal isn't a physical doorway like in a movie, but a crack in consciousness, a new form of energy, or a signal from a place we can't comprehend. And here's where it gets even weirder. Max Loken isn't the only one. Joe Rogan's platform has often touched upon the strange phenomenon of these child prodigies who seem to possess knowledge they couldn't have possibly learned. There are stories of toddlers who can play complex piano concertos without a single lesson, or children who can speak ancient, dead languages. The wilder theories that bubble up in Rogan-esque circles suggest these kids aren't just smart, they're different. Some call them star seeds, or indigo children, souls who have come to Earth with memories of other places, other lives, other realities. The thing that nobody wants to talk about is this. What if their genius isn't about calculation, but about recollection? What if they are simply remembering a physics that is far more advanced than our own? When Max Lauken talks about CERN opening a portal, maybe he isn't just theorizing. Maybe he's giving a warning based on a memory, a deep-seated knowledge of what happens when civilizations play with these fundamental forces. This shifts his claim from a scientific hypothesis to an eyewitness account from another time or place. It's a terrifying thought, and it's one that fits perfectly with the kind of mind-bending possibilities Joe Rogan loves to explore. Are these kids a glimpse of humanity's future evolution, or are they messengers from somewhere else entirely? This isn't just about whether a portal opened. It's about trust. It's about whether we believe that an organization with a $10 billion budget, operating in secret deep underground, is being completely transparent. When you see the sky over the LHC swirling into a vortex, and you hear a chorus of brilliant young minds all hinting at a reality beyond our own, a part of you has to wonder. Are we really just a cosmic accident on a rock spinning through space? Or is there a deeper, more complex, and perhaps more dangerous reality lurking just beyond our perception? That is the question at the heart of the mystery, the one that left Joe Rogan, and all of us, staring into the abyss. Did CERN really open Pandora's box? Or is this all just a fantastic story? What do you think they're really doing with all that power? Let us know your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more answers to the world's greatest mysteries.